the ride along Bathurst is going well. Um, there's just one small thing about riding northbound in Toronto. It doesn't really matter which street you're going across. The majority of the ones that I go across are intercepted by the Don Valley. So I get to go and enjoy that huge hill. without stopping and uh, this awesome man like started chewing me on the way up. That's going to be a very fun ride back home. <laughs> okay, time to keep hustling. Alright, it's taken about an hour of cycling time. Five. Check this out. Oh yeah. I finally reached the line. Alright, better put it away before I get run over. <laughs> Um, it's not exactly, exactly the same, but she'll get the joke. I'm officially in farm country. Uh, oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in farm country. <laughs> he just pulled out in front of me. <laughs> so after two hours and 22 minutes of riding, I have finally hit the outskirts of Richmond Hill. So this is officially the furthest I have ever ridden north. And by pure fluke, it's right by a golf and country club. All right, just gonna hit the 30 kilometer mark so I can turn around and go home. Okay guys, so after cycling for four hours and 32 minutes, I went a total of 55.56 kilometers. My maximum speed was 37.6 kilometers, that was going back through Elgin Mills, and my average speed was 12.2 kilometers, which is awesome because I need to make sure I'm going consistently at a decent pace in order to get to Niagara Falls within the two days. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.